Just had on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt, the simple blood test that could be a game changer for finding cancer. NBC's Kate Snow goes into a lab to show us how it works. We're in a lab in Northern California where they've developed a new blood test that looks for more than 50 kinds of cancer in your body. Many of them cancers that never had a screening tool before. They think it could be the future of cancer care. Much more coming up on Nightly News. Well, ahead of tonight's report, we've invited a local medical research company to talk about blood screenings. We have medical director Dr. Faith Holmes with Elego Health Research joining us this afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us here, Dr. Holmes. What would this type of blood screening mean for the future of cancer research and, of course, fighting this disease? This, this is just absolutely groundbreaking because when you think about the fact that so many cancers are detected so late in the disease process, to have something that will provide an, not only an early detection, but something that can, can provide easy accessibility to a test um, for folks to take that can um, detect something across such a broad array of cancers. And I have been before with Elico Health Research, a practicing hospice and palliative medicine physician in the five county area that surrounds Austin. And I've been in many homes where patients are saying, you know, this was diagnosed really late. They put off symptoms. But if we can have something like this that brings um, an ease of access and um, the capability for people to detect cancers early, um, that has such a tremendous impact individually for patients and their families and even just even economically. It, it's really exciting. Mm. It really is. And Dr. Holmes, uh, can you break down the process and how long it takes for a breakthrough like this one to go from the trial phases to being a tool in medical facilities? And absolutely. I think one of the important things to realize is anything like this literally builds off of the back of decades of what we refer to as bench research. So these are the folks that are, are doing that original re research at the bench level. Once it, in, once it then gets into the phase where you're doing clinical trials, which is what we do here at, at Elego and at the Elego Clinical Research Center, and we've actually are are involved and have been involved in these kinds of studies. It can take at least three to four years of actually doing running the tests in an adequate number of uh, patients and samples. They'll be comparing uh, folks who have cancer. They'll be in comparing that with folks who don't have cancer and looking for differences in those biomarkers. And it's a very robust process, again, that, that once it has gone through that decade of the bench research, three to four years of clinical trials, because you wanna make sure that you're reducing what we refer to as false positives or false negatives to the absolute degree, because you don't want to, um, want to create um, any you know, discomfort, discomfort when it's not necessary. This is a huge area of, um, of concern for everyone about having a malignancy. So you want the most accurate test possible. So before it even goes to the level of an FDA submission to be able to go on the market, such as this test, it has thousands and thousands of patients and at least three to four years just in the clinical trials. Again, always keep in mind, there's that decade of research that it, before it even gets to that point. Well, it can't get here fast enough, but very exciting to hear it's on the horizon. Dr. Faith Holmes, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you.